If you're struggling in Notion because it feels too time consuming or you don't have a good system that works for you, then listen up because I'm about to share my secret to Notion with you. Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to chat about how to use Notion to be more productive in a way that actually will work for you. I'm not gonna lie, Notion took me kind of a while to get used to and to learn and to actually be able to use well. So if you're still learning or if you just started using it and you're not sure what's going on, don't panic. You just have to learn the system a little bit more. I'm just gonna let you know now that I will show you some of my Notion today, but this is gonna be a little bit more of like a theoretical video on how overall to use Notion so that you can kind of take what I'm telling you and apply it to whatever page you might want to use it for. Before we get started on today's video, there's a couple things I wanna share. Number one, so many people responded to my last video and said they were interested in seeing how I kind of set up my daily weekly planning within Notion. And I just wanna let you know that that video is coming. I 100% plan to do that, but I actually just started at the beginning of this new year a, a different system within Notion and I want to be sure that I like it before I share it with everybody. But I'm planning to put that out at the end of January, so keep an eye out for that. Number two, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. For all the love on my last video, I was not expecting that many people to just be so happy with the template, honestly. <laughs> so many of you said that it was such an easy template to follow, that it had a nice flow to it, and I'm really glad that you're enjoying it, but that's actually what inspired today's video. I want you guys to be able to take the technique that I used to kind of create that template and apply it to whatever page it might be that you want to make within your Notion and make it personal to you. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, make sure to go watch my last video, grab the goal planning template. If you have not done that already, it is not too late to start. Um, I'm pretty sure that like when I actually started taking my yearly goal planning seriously, I started in June. So it's never too late to start, just do it. And with that, let's go grab something to sip on and get started. A quick disclaimer, because today's topic is about productivity, if you're using Notion for more of a note-taking platform or to save information for yourself, you might not want to use this system within that. This is more designed for anything productivity related, um, to-dos, tasks, goal planning, that kind of stuff. When it comes to productivity in Notion, one of the biggest mistakes that you can make is spending too much time actually putting your data in Notion or moving your data around in Notion because that's taking away all of your time that you could be doing things that are in your Notion to do, right? You really want to make Notion work for you, not you working for Notion. Personally, I found this is why I could never be consistent when it came to bullet journaling or honestly even Notion when I started it. And that was more because I spent so much time like setting up my bullet journal or setting up my planner or writing down my things that I need to do, um, especially in Notion because that's how I used to do it. I just had like one of those little to-do lists and I'd write every single thing down and I do that every single day. And that is definitely not the most effective way to do it. So when you're starting to set up a page for Notion that's productivity related, flip that little switch in your brain that says like, hey, let's make this into a workflow instead of just something where I'm dumping ideas and then just trying to check everything off. Workflows are a little bit different for everybody. We all have our personal preferences on how we'd like to do things. Um, but I'm gonna show you the way that I find it easiest in my head to do that. So maybe that can help you just think about it in your head, how you would like to do it and translate that into a Notion template for yourself. For me, the first place that I start always is a brainstorming space. This comes before you even start writing down to do's or anything related to that. This is really just you dumping everything that's going on in your brain onto the, the page on Notion so that you have somewhere to start with. I found that I personally really like to have something written down that kind of guides me through things. Um, like if it comes to journaling, I like to have a guided journal. I don't like to just write. Um, so I have like a little brain dump space that's got some questions written out that will kind of help me jog my memory and think about what it is that I might need to be doing. You absolutely don't have to brainstorm every single day. I do not. I tend to do it once a week, depending on things. Um, if it's my goal planning template, I do that once a quarter, once a year kind of a thing. So find a good time period that will work for you and stick to that time period so that you're not every day being like, oh, I have to write down my to-dos for today. Think about it for a week or think about it for a month or a quarter or whatever it might be. And then just allow the system to kind of assign that for you. So once I get done with my brainstorming portion, I go right into my to-do dumping. Now you saw this idea within my 2023 goal planning template that after I 
brain dump all my goals that I want, I stick that right into the table below it. I do the same exact thing for my weekly to-dos as well. Ideally, your to-do dumping space is going to be right underneath your brainstorming space or right by your brainstorming space because all the things that you wrote down in your brainstorm, you can stick it right into a database and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. Now, the reason I like to do a dumping section is because this allows Notion to kind of filter automatically for you depending on how you choose to display the data. Typically, when you're displaying things, they don't necessarily need to have the same information as like when you're dumping them. For example, when I was dumping my goals into my um, goal planning template, I would include things like how many tasks there was going to be and how many tasks I had already done so that I could kind of start the creation process of that little progress bar that there was with that. But when I show my goals on the very front page, I never included those um, number of tasks on that page because I didn't want to see that. I really only just wanted to see the progress bar. So that's kind of what I mean when I say I don't include everything in my display space that I might include in my dumping space. With my weekly to-dos, I go ahead and put in whatever the task might be. I give it a couple of assignments in terms of like tags and categories. And then I just go ahead and click the sort and boom, boom, that is gone. And then I don't have to look at it again until it comes up on whatever day I might have assigned it to myself. I really like using this method because it keeps my dumping space clean. I don't know about you, but like whenever I go to enter data into a table on Notion and it's already full and I have to go all the way to the bottom to enter more things in, it just feels taxing to me for whatever reason. So I really like having a dumping space that's always clear and clean when I go to start and it just feels faster and more efficient and I'm not like overwhelmed by how many things are in my table because there's a lot of things in my table. <laughs> Lastly, after you've brainstormed and dumped your to-dos and all that kind of stuff, you're gonna want some place that's going to display your data. This will show you whatever you need to be working on, however you want to categorize it. I sometimes categorize it by day, I sometimes do it by week and then try to sort priorities out but that's totally up for you to decide how you actually want to accomplish that. What I absolutely love about this method is I spend way less time trying to figure out what I need to do every single day because it's already there for me. I've done it once per week and then my entire week is like ready to go for me. I just hop into that day and I can see everything that's there already. Honestly, I think this is where Notion wins over like a paper planner, for example, because you can just put these tasks in one time and you can filter it however you want to see it, whether it be like daily tasks or weekly tasks or whatever. And you're not just limited to the way that you wrote it down on your paper. Now, there are so many different ways this type of workflow could play out in Notion since it's so versatile. You can kind of structure it however you want. But hopefully this gave you some sort of inspiration on how you can structure your own workflow and your own Notion space to help you be more productive in your day-to-day -day activities. If you're sitting here thinking, I love the idea of this type of workflow, but I have absolutely no idea where to start with it. I will encourage you to keep your eye out for my next YouTube video, which is going to be how I do my daily and weekly planning in Notion. And that's gonna give you pretty much a start to finish look at how I use this workflow in my everyday life. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up just so I know it was helpful for you. And if you have any questions about this workflow or how I might use Notion, please just go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'd love to answer them for you. I'm wishing you all the happiest Notion planning and I will see you next time. Bye guys.